What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa to take a look at some new tracks that have dropped to this Google Doc page. I will leave the link for the Google Doc down in the description box below. So let's take a look at some tracks. As always, follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it! So we do have some new stuff that just got dropped on the 11th and the 14th. It looks like Jefferson Speedway, the NSR 2015-2020 reworked. We have a couple other tracks and cars. So we're going to go to the track list. We're going to download some of the new stuff and hit them for today. So we I don't know what this is, so we're going to download this. I've never driven these tracks before, so we're just in, we're just downloading these right off the rip. And then we are going to go try them out. Jefferson Speedway, throw that up there. Let's go. All right, so we did find the new track. Let's hopefully we can uh, drift it one time here. We're going to go straight here in the 350Z. So let's hit it and see what we can do. All right, so we do got the 350Z out on comps. And we're just going to go full send on this right now. Oh, all right. We got a little bank with some uh, blinking uh, clip points. Oh, they're movable. Oh, we have movable clipping points. Oh, that's sick. Oh, no. We have blinking light rods that are movable. Oh, that's pretty sick. Are these clips movable too? Doop. <laughs> we do have a lot of stuff that is knockable out. I'm gonna try to knock them all out of this uh, first turn. Oh, not like that. We don't want to do that. So that's actually kind of cool that there is destructible light posts, little light rods here. So let's go see what other things we have on in this track because I feel like there should be other things around. Other than just that bank. So we've got parking lot. You know, for drifting a parking lot. Oh! That had a lot less grip than I thought it was gonna have. Big old fireball from the back of the Z. So it is awesome to see some people bringing out tracks that have like destructible things and you know we have a bit of a bank track that we can mess around with too and you know destructible poles and stuff of that nature Let's see if we can't tap these there we go i wish i could have taken them all off and want all out at once you know we're gonna reset this and try and take them all out for once on one try. Let's go restart session. Yep. And let's see if we can take out the entire bank worth of poles. And drift the inside part first. Make sure we're at 100% boost. Missed a couple. Oh, that wall came out a lot sooner than I thought. Oh, we took that one out though. We got a little light rod on us. All right, we're gonna try and take out this wall. Oh, we missed a couple. <laughs> this would be a fun track to do. Basically, a drift competition. See how many little light rods you can get in one drift. So for a first track, this track is actually a blast to drive. I'm gonna be trying to get some friends on here. Maybe do some. There we go. Ah, see, that's what I wanted to do, but with all of them. Fortunately, we couldn't do that on the first rip. So let's go take a look at another track here on this Google Doc and see what we got. So we have a reworked of NSR 2015, but I want to do this raceway drift, the Timur Timuru International.
uh, internet. There it goes. I was like, internet, go faster. Luckily, I have some uh, pretty decently speed internet, so we can download these tracks live on the rip and install them. So, it's Timura, Timuru. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. So, let's go to Drive and see if we can't find that, that track real quick. There it is. Ooh, this looks like a really awesome track to drive. So, we're going to hit it up and see what we can do. All right, so we have looks like we have a starting grid. I'm surprised I don't have my tablet on with my dashboard and everything going which you know I always keep forgetting to turn it on because I use the little LEDs on my actual thing But it's much cooler to have it on the tablet going so Looks like we do have a start stop point for this we're going to Get our first impressions on this track sweeper oh is that the start oh I think that might have been the start oh boy. I got the wrong gear set for this track yep definitely have the wrong gear set for this track go not a bad track it kind of uh has a bit of a good flow to it and you know it's kind of uh hopefully it loops back but it's actually a, a fun little track to actually throw down maybe some tandem runs for this track may need an 800 horsepower car because i feel like a well, 500 horsepower z is uh struggle a little bit in some parts of this track but we'll see if we can't make it better come back to start we're gonna try this again I feel like we got to use this as a roll to gain speed we're not gonna drift this section use it as a roll and now initiate in better a little bit shallow there probably managed to make it out to the zone though little grass line there little grass never hurt though ripping this whole section without any breakthrough there yeah this track flows on the inner pit line maybe that's grass, that's grass, that's grass. Oh, those tires you can't go through. So I'd be very curious to see this track on a 800 horsepower car. So let's grab one of the comp cars and see what we can do. Bring out the A90 Supra. I'm gonna leave it all how it is. And see what we can do with the A90 on this track. gear set. Yep, definitely the wrong gear set. We probably need to go to a 3.6. So we're going to go back to pits, go to a 3.6 gear set. Oh, I didn't want to restart session, but okay. Go to a 3.6. Why are we a 2.9? All right, we'll go to a 3.6. Apparently my tablet is not wanting to connect right now. All right. That's a bit better gear set. I feel like We need to be in fifth. Grass life. Apparently, we need to be in fifth gear for that. We 
come out of that in fifth? We are gonna be able to come out of that in fifth. So we're gonna run that again, but we're gonna run it in fifth gear because apparently that's the gear we need to be in. Reverse entry, 360 for style. Nailed it. So apparently a 3.6 we need to be in a fifth gear for that section. Try to initiate without as much e-brake. Evil Rabbit Motorsports logos on the side of this A90. You gotta fix the flames because there is no pops of flames with this car, even with the two steps and everything like that. But unfortunately, it's there's just no flame. Don't heel toe action. Don't need to do it though. All right, we're gonna pop this thing in fifth gear. Click on the e brake. Nothing major. Clip that inner rumble. Too much. I locked up the brakes. Locked up the front brakes, unfortunately. So I'll rip that run. So let's take a look at one more track here for today's episode, and then we will end this episode off on that note. Like I said, I will leave the link for the Google Drive in the description box below. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And let's see, we got Drift Woods. Well, it's got Drift in the name, and it's got Woods. Let's do it. Drift Woods, download anyways. Yep, yep, yep. No virus is found. Perfect. Let's go. Drift Woods. Go back to the 350. And then we're going to go find Drift Woods. Hopefully its uh, name is exactly what it is. Drift Playground, Drift Land Aussie, Drift USA, Drift Woods. Looks pretty good. So we're going to hit this up to end this episode off. Let's do it. All right, Drift Woods final track in the 350. Already just straight into it, apparently. Oh, oh rotated that one a little bit. Looks like it could be a very fun, flowy track, actually. Never drifted on this track before, so... Impressions on it. This is pretty sick, actually. very decreasing radius turn and we're back to the beginning this track is actually so flowy and so much fun there we go drift woods definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend trying this track out if you guys do not have this track i would recommend it oh i thought we were gonna go too wide we could A little bit of a backwards initiation entry. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, taking a look at the Google Drive and new tracks and ripping them for the first time. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, let me know down in the comments. I have a lot of fun driving new tracks that I've never driven before, and it seems like there's a lot of new tracks and cars coming out. So we could also throw down some of the new cars and stuff, like the Ford Escort Drift Car and give, give you guys my impressions of the cars and what I would change if it was mine. So, more Aesthetic Corsa content with the Google Drive stuff coming, as well as modeling tutorials. We're going to be coming to the channel. A lot of you guys have been asking about changing interior pieces and stuff like that and how I do it. I will be bringing some tutorials to the channel for modeling from basics to pros. So, make sure you follow me on Instagram for all the information about that. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.